In this video, I'm going to show you how to compile and simulate Verilog using the Quartus Web Edition and the Quartus uh, Altera Model Sim simulator for Verilog. And here we have a code ready. It is an up down counter here. It has three inputs and one output, and it's uh, this is its register level logic and we have already a test bench provided you can check this out on github available in electronics verilog up down raw up down underscore tb and up down dot v this is the uh, verilog code required in order to run this tutorial the link is here provided so we'll run first our quartus 2 installation we're using the 64-bit edition Then you create a new project. Next, you use a working directory. I have already prepared mine here in this location. I'll just copy this. This is a blank directory. Then the name of the project, I'll name it up down because my code uses up down, the name up down here. I've already prepared my code, but if you'd like to name your own, you should change this. Then go next and you choose the proper family and device in order to work with during uh, programming your device. Now here we'll choose Verilog HDL and run gate level simulation automatically after compilation. Now it's creating the project. Then we add a new file here. Let's call uh, the let's have a Verilog HDL file, and then we'll copy the this one, the code for the unit under test, and paste it here. Let's name it up down that V. It seems that Verilog already has named it. I mean Altera Quartus has named it already. It names it up down that V. So you'll just choose that because this one is up down and this one is also called up down dot v in order to have a the same name naming convention here so as you can see if we close this and double click this one we can have this one next is we'll add the test bench code I'll copy this and create a new file for the test bench and I'll name it up down dot v underscore tb so you can see we have already a test bench code here and in order to complete this one I'll add a finish directive okay after 1000 time units after this time unit it will finish the simulation here in the settings, make sure you add click simulation and compile test bench. You click this and add a new test bench. Let's call it up down underscore tb because this is what we have named our test bench as. As you can see here, you can copy this, it's the same as this one then you add the actual file which we created beforehand there we go and add it press ok ok another ok going back to quartus here we have everything ready let's just right click this one and start compilation As you can see now, model sim is about to open, and it will show us the wave uh, wave outputs for our test bench. Okay. 
click no if it asks you if you want to finish just click no here as you can see we already have our code up and if you click here there are some wave uh, wave representations here just click uh, zoom out or you can click this one and there we go you can right click this and change the radix to unsigned and there you can see that the uh, up down counter when the reset is on it sets the TV count variable to zero and when it's down and enable is on it starts counting one two three but once again the enable is zero down and the reset is turned on after the reset was pressed here we see that it's counting again if enable is one here we go it's counting again until 15 and when it reaches 15 it goes down to 14 back to zero then one to 15 and onwards and back again to zero as you can see we had the code for finish the dollar sign finish that actually cut the simulation at this moment so this guys I hope you learned something on how to simulate and compile your code using Altera Quartus and Altera Model Sim so you can see these are the uh, starter editions for both software and you can download them free from the software uh, from the Altera website thank you for watching and have a great new year